Hello, my friends, and welcome to Scary Rotten Farms here at the Berry Fresh Farms in Brick, New Jersey. I have been invited here to check out the three haunts that they have in store for you should you come on over and visit. So I invite you to come along. Let's check out Scary Rotten Farms. That was good timing. So the first thing I want to do here is kind of show you the setup that they got going on. So they have two of the houses or haunts or mazes. I'm not sure what they're referring to them as, but the entrances are here and then way in the back and we'll be going there in a second is where they have the third entrance, which is actually in the woods behind the farm. I really do like how they're using some of these azaleas, I think. I'm not, <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, they're kind of using those to help divide the queues and all of that when, you know, everybody shows up. It just got dark here. And then right when you enter here is where they have the uh, ticket booth. They do have tickets for sale online as well, but I think most people were opting to buy them here. So over on this sign here, they have kind of the uh, price scheme here. This is per haunt. Otherwise, you can get a combo, a mega combo that includes all of them, or some sort of skip the line pass, which I have been told that this can get pretty crowded. So a couple hundred people in this little farm probably means very long waits. So here's the entrance to the first haunt that we come upon, and that is Sinister Sneed's Chaotic Carnival of Chaos. The entrance is just up ahead, but I kind of enjoyed the storyline. It involves a businessman, Sneed's, who is trying to host a carnival. It's not doing so well. So what does he do in his desperation but seeks out a deal with the devil? And I don't know. We're going to find out how that went. One thing I'm going to mention before I enter, that there's a bit of a safety spiel that one of these guys will give you. I'm pretty certain as well that I'm about to be pulsed through all by myself. And there is this nice friendly clown here to greet you, just in case you didn't feel welcome already. Rule number one. You don't want to touch any of the freaks or other attractions inside. They're not going to touch any of you. And I blame them for the most part. No food or beverage inside the carnival because the only thing that's on the menu tonight is you, ladies and gentlemen. Flashlights, cell phones, cameras. If it lights up, takes pictures, records. Keep it in your pocket because you don't want to be losing it in there because when we find it, we're going to take suggestive pictures of ourselves and send them to your grandparents. Last but not least, if you pee your pants or expel any other type of bodily fluid stay at the carnival please make sure to let someone know so we can be around with a mop and a bucket and mark you up on our little board over there all right guys i think it's time let's uh let's go through this maze and see what happens i will be showing you highlights only come this way this way this way yeah, okay go to my fun house i'm going Just got done going through the carnival. Whoo! Holy smokes. That was eight minutes that you will never forget. They get right up close to you. They are not shy about it. They yell at you. 
There's no crazy audio cues or anything. There's really intense strobes though, so I'll warn you about that. That got crazy and maybe could have used a little more lighting because there was stuff hanging that you had to go through. So it had this kind of eerie funhouse element to it. The sets were actually a lot of fun. There were some things in there that I did not expect to see just by looking at the footprint that this thing has. Uh, but otherwise, I thought that was great. I didn't know what to expect going into this, but now I'm really excited for the, to go through the next one. So we're about to go through Delirium's Requiem through the police station. Apparently the storyline on this one is all about a boy named Dell, and we're going to experience all the things that turned him into whatever we see in here. All right, guys, wish me luck. Come sit down and hear the word of God. The winds of plague consume your world. The baptism in the blood of the unrepentant swine will be your salvation. The great mother came to me and presented me with a new savior. And that savior's name is Delirium. Show him Delirium! Show him what we do to the unrepentant! Alright, so that was Delirium's Requiem. Unfortunately, Del did not lead the best life, it seems. But you get to experience all of it. And there were some pretty good moments. There were some triggered parts that, uh, like that, you know, they step on a, a pedal, I assume, and then there's a little cue where they come out that were a little off, unfortunately. But as a whole, it kind of suffered from same monsteritis because um, a lot of the scare actors are portraying the same character. But the sets kind of make up for that in their variety because you are going and stepping through this character's life, which I really liked. And then the ending, it just kind of goes off the rails. And I believe he just like, I, I won't spoil it, actually. I won't spoil it. But anyway, uh, it was about seven to eight minutes long. So about the same as uh, the uh, carnival but uh, again I can't believe how much they're able to fit in what looks like a pretty small footprint now if you guys hear the chainsaws in the distance that means there's one more haunt left to check out and that one is all the way back in the woods all right guys so I'm going into twisted tales which has a beautiful facade look at this thing which is actually being lit up by Mother Goose, who's kind of manning the front there and taking tickets before you see all her stories, I guess, gone wrong. I don't know what I'm in store for here or what characters we are about to see, but I'm excited to go through this last taunt. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Super playful. Why don't you want to play with me? I don't doubt it. Oh shit. <laughs> Welcome to the team party! Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the tea party. <laughs> Don't worry, there's nothing to be afraid of over here. Just ignore these dead dwarfs. I don't know who did that. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you scared? Go ahead, I have a pretty smile so you can take my picture. Mm. Let's go, buddy. He's Come so on. In focus. I don't know how they did this, but each one of these haunts was about eight minutes. And the Twisted Tales one unfortunately involved a lot of scares that are perfect for large groups, but for when you're by yourself, I don't think it quite works. So if you're coming out here to Scary Rotten Farms, please bring a friend. 
That's what I recommend. Because having all that wonderful, scary attention just for me is a lot. <laughs> I can feel my adrenaline going though, and it felt like they were giving me their own personal show, and I loved the energy. I loved it. It was so great to have like just all of that pointed at me. Chainsaws and double scares and just oh man, I don't know where everybody funnels or channels that from, but man, you got y'all are doing great. I appreciate every one of you, whoever put together those, uh, the, some of those sets, whoever put those together, because it is, you know, stuff pulled from fairy tales, and therefore they recreated stuff like that. So just off the top of my head, the there there were a couple almost buildings, recreations of buildings that you see in fairy tales, recreated. <laughs> I just didn't expect it didn't expect just in general the level of quality that is here and they still have like almost a whole season to kind of get things you know firing on all cylinders i'm impressed i did not know at all what to expect coming into this and i have been so pleasantly surprised by tonight now one cool thing i heard is that on one night in october they're doing a blackout night or something like that and that basically means that they turn off all the lights and the guests will have some sort of glow on them. I guess the scare actors must too. I didn't ask too many details about it, but it sounds like they do something special for one night only and they transform the houses in the sense of how they light them. Then on another night, it's called Blood Night. And apparently the scare actors are going to be like flinging, tossing, throwing blood at the guests and apparently there will be a shirt involved or something that they'll give them that's what i heard i don't have full details definitely check out their website full details about the specialty nights but i definitely wanted to bring that up for you guys because i haven't heard of any haunts doing stuff like that and i think it's pretty cool but anyway guys all that being said i had a great time here i got to go through each of these haunts twice once with the camera to see how it was try to get those clips and then a second time here sorry i have to change arms once in a while and then a second time just so i could experience it like a guest and oh my gosh these scare actors are amazing y'all are awesome y'all really go for it and i appreciate it i hope you guys have an amazing season and if you're around brick new jersey come to berry fresh farms and check out scary rotten farms it's gonna be a good time so anyway guys with all that being said Thank you so much to Wayne and everybody here at Scary Rotten Farms for inviting me, having me along for the night. I appreciate it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you go your own adventure. Bye.